there's a lot of me, there's a whole half of me that's completely an unknown. Ryan Kramer of Nederland, Colorado was conceived in 1989 through artificial insemination. His mom, Wendy, embraced single motherhood, never anticipating her son's early curiosity. Ryan was actually two when he came to me and said, so did my dad die or what? By age six, he was demanding, to. I want to know who my father is. At seven, Ryan wrote to California Cryobank of West L.A. He wanted to connect with the man whose sperm his mother had used. At times, there were pieces missing about information about myself. Questions only sperm donor number 1058 could answer. But California Cryobank made its policy clear. Until Ryan turned 18, they wouldn't even attempt to let 1058 know Ryan was searching. There are lots of parts about myself that I can very easily relate to my mom but there are lots of parts of myself that who knows where they came from it can be very difficult at times they started the donor sibling registry when ryan was 10 a website where kids of sperm and egg donors could search for other kids conceived from the same donor their website triggered a tv appearance and a woman watching saw ryan and knew just by looking at him that her daughters were his half-sisters. The woman sent them an email. Ryan immediately wrote back. Hi, my name is Ryan Kramer. This very easily may be the most exciting day of my life. Please write back as soon as humanly possible. But there was a problem. Ryan's half-sisters hadn't been told they were donor-conceived. They believe that their mother's husband is their biological father. Meeting them was not a possibility. Maybe Ryan searched so hard because there are so few people he can totally relate to. He graduated from high school at 14. Now at 16, he's already a junior at the University of Colorado. His major, aerospace engineering. It's a very strong gene, apparently. But it didn't come from his mom. Last year, Ryan had another near meeting after finding a California teen on the Internet who claimed to be born from uh, donor 1058. Ryan corresponded with her briefly and discovered she graduated high school when she was 15 and now that she's graduated she'll be pursuing a degree in nuclear engineering. Our jaws kind of dropped. But once the girl's parents found out about the emails they prohibited further contact. Unfortunately it's it's not a perfect world. But because of Ryan's quest children of sperm and egg donors now have a meeting place. A lot of these kids feel like they really really need their donor is to answer, you know, questions or help define themselves.